Hello Dreamers, in this video I'll talk about AIPP or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program for Permanent Residency of Canada. I'll give you the overview, tell you the process, how much it will cost you, also I'll tell you the eligibility criteria and I'll tell you the processing times as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, without paying hefty fee to the consultants. Please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so the overview. AIPP is a totally different program and not at all linked with Express Entry. Please don't get confused. Express Entry is a completely different program and AIPP is a totally different program. It is also not a point system. There's no points awarded for you know different criteria. Totally different program. What it is it? You'll understand by the end of this video. It is actually a partnership between the government of Canada and the four Atlantic provinces. Which are those provinces? New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. So AIPP is for only these four provinces. This program lets Atlantic employers hire qualified candidates for jobs that they haven't been able to fill locally. You can be living in abroad or be in Canada temporarily. You must have a job offer before you apply for your permanent residency. So for AIPP, having a job offer is a must. So please take a note of that. Now, if you and the employer meet the requirements, you'll get the permanent residency status. What is the fee? It's around thousand Canadian dollars. And the processing time of your permanent residency uh, visa application would be something around six months. Okay, now the eligibility requirements. Employers can hire you through one of the three programs in the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Now there are three programs. The first one is Atlantic High Skilled Program. The second one is Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. And the last one is Atlantic International Graduate Program. In the first program, you need to have a one year work experience in uh, NOC 0, NOC A or NOC B. Uh, you need to have your ECA done and also you need to have your uh, language proficiency test and you should have uh, some amount for settlement funds as well. What is it? I'll tell you very shortly. The Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. This is specifically for NOC Atlantic International Graduate Program. It is for those people who have just, you know, graduated and uh, they have a degree or diploma or other credential from a publicly funded institution in the Atlant in an Atlantic province only from th that province okay and even those people need uh, to go through the language proficiency test and they also need settlement funds as well okay now let's discuss the eligibility criteria the work experience it should be at least 1560 hours in the last three years that is 30 years per week in a year if you calculate it it would be around that only the noc level should be zero a b or a c as i told you for the high skilled program it should be zero a or b and for the in intermediate skill program it should be noc level c okay education a Canadian education or ECA is required if in case uh, you are you've done the education uh, from outside of Canada language CLB 4 or higher this is a very easy criteria you know anybody who knows English I'm sure would be able to get it a listening 4.5 reading 3.5 writing 4 and speaking 4 not only for IELTS it's also for cell pip and if you talk about the you know the french test as well in the same uh, clb4 is required in uh, those exams as well proof of funds it is much lower than the express entry 
you know, we, if there's a single guy, you just need around three thousand Canadian dollars, and you know, if you are a couple, you need around four thousand, and if you are a, if you have a kid as well, you need around four thousand seven hundred, four thousand eight hundred uh, Canadian dollars, and so on. Okay, now the offer letter, which is the most important uh, component of this AIPP program, we'll talk about this in detail after a while. Before that, let me tell you something about settlement plan what is it after you get a job offer from a designated employer you and your family members who will be living with you who are 18 years or above need to get a settlement plan this plan will help you settle in Canada give you the resources and links related to you and your family's needs and tell you where you can go to the in the community to get help these plans are free of cost and you can Take the help of a settlement service provider organization. There's a list there in the official website of uh, IRCC. You can consult that and you can get the settlement plan. This is something quite easy. Okay, now the trickier part. Employer and the offer letter. Remember the offer letter, the most crucial part of the AIPP program, of the application rather. So the employer should be designated as an employer taking part in the Atlantic immigration pilot by the Atlantic province where you'll be working. They must have a confirmation of designation from the province. So they can't just be any employer. I mean, they should be a designated employer. Okay. The good thing is that the LMIA is not required in the case of AIPP. Okay. Now let's discuss the endorsement letters because it is also very important. After you have a settlement plan, the province must endorse the job offer. Your employer will handle this process. You need not worry about it. Your employer will fill out and submit the endorsement application to the province. This will include a copy of your settlement plan. Each province has its own process. Your employer may need more documents from you. You may need to sign some forms. After that, you have your uh, settlement letter you have your endorsement letter you have your offer letter after you have all of these documents after that you can apply for the permanent residency through uh, the IRCC official website there are links there officially so uh, after that you can definitely go ahead to apply for the permanent residency of Canada so guys basically this is all the information you need to know about AIPP I just hope that you know the information shared in this video would be helpful to you. So thanks for watching this video. Please like the video if you really liked it and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them. And also please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.